Hello. I'm home. That new pizza place that we've been talking about finally opened. <sighs> I've been waiting to try it for the longest time. I also picked up a pizza on my way here. Pepperoni, your favorite. God, you don't want to hear about how busy it was over there. I could barely even walk without bumping into someone. <laughs> the pizza must be good. I'm excited to try it. Now where the heck are you? I'm not gonna eat this pizza all by myself. Oh! Oh my gosh, I, I did not realize that we have a guest over. You should have told me. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know that I'm home a little bit earlier than usual, but my new boss is pretty cool and he let me leave early. Um, I could leave if you guys were in the middle of a good conversation. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's me. The roommate. And, uh, what is your name? Oh, right. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. It's nice to finally put a face on the name. Oh, you've heard a lot about me too. Well, uh, good things, I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been roommates for a while now. Three years, was it? Well, I can't believe that I've been putting up with you all this time. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I could leave you guys alone for a little bit. Oh, you were just on your way out. You sure? Oh, well, I'm gonna go take a shower. Again, it was so nice meeting you. So, is she gone? Okay. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Seems like your type. What do I mean? Well, I know the kind of girls that you go for. They almost all look the same. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Hopefully, she's a good one. Is she? You guys look like you were having a nice conversation before I came barging in. Sorry for that, by the way. <laughs> were you? Well, that's... that's nice. Um... Is she the same girl that you've been telling me about? Seems things are going well. Well, I'm happy for you. You deserve the best girl ever. Me? Oh, the usual. Work was alright. I've been looking forward to trying this pizza all day long, though. Look at this thing. It's a pepperoni monster. <laughs> Duh. I know you best. Here, I'll give you the first slice. Only because I feel bad for ruining your little date. Well, I know. But still, I should have texted or something. I'll do that next time. I don't want to ruin any more of your dates. I think I've done that enough in the past. <laughs> but hey, you've done it to me as well, so fair and square. So, she said she's heard a lot about me. Do you want to elaborate? Hmm? <laughs> what? You don't want to give me a big head? Oh, come on now. 
You know that I'm nosy. It's not often that I get compliments from you. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're always messing around with each other. It's nice to know that you still say nice things about me. And, uh, of course I do the same with you. Sometimes. <laughs> So, how come she was here? Were you guys doing anything before, or you just decided to chill here? She wanted to check out your place. Okay. Well, how does she feel about the fact that you have a girl for a roommate? Well... Yeah, I know that she's not officially your girlfriend yet or anything, but some girls do get a little crazy about that. It could be a red flag. She hasn't said anything yet. Well, that's good to know. I don't want to ruin something good. You don't care about what she thinks? Oh, regarding me. Well, I know, and, and I appreciate that. But the thought of us not sharing the same place one day scares me. I mean, ew. Imagine you and I living separately. I can't even think about it. I'll have no one else to annoy or put up with me. Of course, that's not the only thing I love about having you as my roomie. I mean, I've gotten so used to your presence, your company. It's almost a little bit scary. Anyways, how's the pizza tasting? I know, right? It's literally the best thing ever. God. I'm so glad that this place is right down the street. Now we can get good pizza anytime we want. Good pizza. <laughs> I know. I've gotten so sick of Fratelli's. Thank God we have something new. Oh? You got a text? Is that her? Telling you she had an amazing time with you? Well, I'm not surprised. You can be kind of fun sometimes. Shh, don't get a big head. I never said that to you. Nope, never happened. Oh. She... She wants to go on a date. I see. Well, uh, what are you gonna say? Mm. So you don't know how serious you want to get with her? Okay, um... Why do you feel that way? I mean, obviously if you like this girl, you would want to make her your girlfriend, right? Is that not the plan? You don't know. Well, you need to know, silly. You don't want to waste either of your time. Well, what is making you so hesitant? I mean, why aren't you taking that step? There's something else. Hmm. Well, what is it? You might feel better if you tell me. No, you shouldn't be worried about that. I'm sure that if she is a good girl, she would like me. I mean, I am your friend and your roommate after all. But the fact that you care so much about that, it's so sweet. I, I know we don't really say it a lot to each other, but I do care about you and... 
I do want the best for you. I want you to have an amazing life. Even if I'm not in it. I do eventually want you to find that girl that you're going to settle with. <laughs> yeah, you want the same for me. That's good. <sighs> no, we are not going to talk about my love life right now. Because it is so boring. There's nothing to even talk about. I mean, there's this one person, but... They're so blind and stupid sometimes that they can't see my obvious feelings for them. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Of course I thought about telling them. And I know that I usually go for what I want. But this is a little bit different. I mean... If I tell this person how I feel, I'm afraid that they're not going to want to be friends with me anymore. I'm going to lose them. And I can't even imagine that happening. And plus, right now is definitely not the right time to tell them as well. I think, I think they like someone else. And that's okay, I'm fine with that. As long as they're happy, of course. They're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter who they are. At least now you know that I do like someone and that I would love to be with them if they actually acknowledge my feelings. Anyways, did you text her back? For the date, silly. Aren't you gonna set something up? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm asking you a question. It's kind of rude not to answer, isn't it? Or is your mouth too full? <laughs> I know. You look like you're having a blast with that pizza. Mom, well, glad you like it. I got it just for you. I really wasn't that hungry. I had my lunch break, and God, we had so much food. I can't even think about eating more. Of course. You know I would get it for you. Hmm? Um. What more do you want to know? I think I told you enough about this person that I like. Why are you so curious anyways? You have your little thing going on. You should probably focus on that, right? Say, would you ever... Hypothetically speaking, of course, and I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about... A serious, random situation that does not apply to you whatsoever, but say that your roommate likes you, hypothetically speaking, of course, and they don't know how to tell you that they like you because you're an idiot who is constantly looking for someone to date other than your roommate who obviously has feelings for you. But then you somehow find out that they like you, but you don't know how you feel about the whole thing. What would you do? I'm being a little too specific. Uh, why does that matter? I told you, this is a hypothetical situation, remember? I'm not saying that I have feelings for you or anything like that, I'm just... I'm wondering, I mean, if that was something that's going on, how would you react? Would you... Would you hate me? Would you see me any different? Yeah. Yeah, I am talking about myself. I... I don't know how to be less obvious. 
I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to hint at it. But every time I get the courage to tell you, I find out that you're talking to someone new. And then I go ten steps back because I don't know how to deal with the idea of rejection. I'm so used to getting what I want that the idea of getting rejected by you scares me so much. It scares me so badly. I, I don't want to lose you. Not as a friend or a roommate. But I don't think it's fair for me to let you talk to this girl knowing that I have these feelings for you. That your roommate has feelings for you. It's just not right. And even though I feel like this is the worst thing ever and I'm going to regret telling you, I have to get it off my chest. You don't have to say anything right now. Nothing at all. I could leave you alone for a little bit. So you can think about what I said, but I know one thing for a fact, and that is that I want you to want me. Not her. Not anyone else. Just me. You don't want me to go? What do you mean? <laughs> you do? <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, shut up. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> You're not funny. Are you being serious? God, you don't... You don't know how happy that makes me. What? There's sauce on my lip? Are you... Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Now you decide to tell me? You're such an asshole, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> Can you wipe it at least? I can't find it. You're just gonna lick it? What the heck is wrong with you? Listen, I want to kiss you, but, but I can't, not yet. I want to be respectful to the girl that you're talking to. I know that you guys are not serious or anything, but still, I think it's the right thing to do. You agree? <laughs> this is why I like you. It's going to be really hard though, so... You're going to have to break down the news to her one way or another, okay? <laughs> you can do it. Now, come on. Let's finish eating this pizza. We can put on a movie or something. Cuddles are still on the table, right? 